Parashat Devarim. Or, here we go again. Moses begins his long farewell speech. Moses retells the people's history to the next generation. He reminds them of their shortcomings. Moses prepares the Jews for life in Israel without him. The key to success in Israel is obedience to God. There's a wonderful movie called The King's Speech. It won the Oscar for Best Picture. And it stars Colin Firth as England's King George VI, who overcomes this tremendous personal challenge, a stutter to lead his nation. And there's a scene on which the entire movie turns. For a long time, he has struggled, he's agonized, he's practiced, and he's gotten seemingly nowhere. And in the scene, he erupts and he yells, I have a voice. And after that, everything changes. He finds improvement, poise, assurance to the betterment of an entire nation. And a character in our Parsha, in our book, can say the same. Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu, because he too had to overcome a stutter, a speech impediment, and he leads his nation to soaring heights as well. The Parsha Devarim, which begins Sefer Devarim, the book of Deuteronomy, begins in a seemingly innocuous way. It says, these are the words that Moses spoke to all of Israel. Now there are two things that are remarkable. One is that he keeps talking and talking and talking all the way to the end of the book. This is a really long speech, but it's not just long, it's beautiful. It is soaring, it is majestic. It inspired the nation then and now. These are his final words to Israel. They cross the finish line, the Jordan River, to enter the promised land. And nobody, nobody could see this coming. Because 40 years earlier, that same man, Moses, said, Lo ish divarim anohi, I am not a man of words. The context is that God told Moses, I want you to go to Pharaoh and rescue the Jews from slavery and deliver them to freedom. And Moses, he pushed back hard. He said, God, you don't want me. I'm not a man of words. I have a speech impediment. I can't talk. So how on earth am I going to even talk to Pharaoh and then lead this nation all the way to Israel? Find somebody else. So the same man who said, I can't talk. I'm not a man of words, is the one who's giving this incredible speech. Who would have seen it coming? We think of Moses as a hero, and rightly so. Boldly confronting Pharaoh, and delivering the Jews from slavery to freedom. We think of Moses as flawed, as someone with a hot temper who hit the rock instead of speaking to it. We think of Moses as humble, someone who cared about the fate of his people more than his own ego. We should also think of Moses as one who experiences growth who saw progression, who overcame a challenge as an adult. And we learned that the limitation in Exodus was not a physical limitation. It was one of something else. And over the years and over his experiences, he overcame it. And that's very inspiring to all of us who face challenges. Each of us is all of these, heroic, flawed, humble, and capable of growth even as an adult. Let Moses inspire us too, to acknowledge our challenges, to grow, and to affirm, I have a voice.